guys and welcome to a surprising haul. I wasn't really planning on buying anything new right now. Um, I was just making kind of a, a wish list for later this year, but I ended up missing a lot of essential products like mascara and eyebrow pencils and um, I have slowly been trying to build up my freelance kit. Uh, I haven't really talked or showed you guys anything about that on my channel. Um, I might do that later, but um, I, I've been looking for another foundation. I originally bought a, um, a few foundations for my kit and they weren't working out very well. So I've just kind of been looking around for a new foundation to put in my kit. Um, I think, I don't know, I, I, I'm not sure if I've found the right one. I've only tried it a few times. I'm gonna show you, I might as well show you right now. It is the Essence Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation. So this has hyaluronic acid and aloe vera. Or is it high? Hold on. Yes, hyaluronic acid and aloe vera. So this is what I have on today, and I'm going to do a thorough review on this um, later. But tell me if you have other like good staple foundations that are cruelty-free and somewhat affordable um, that you use in your freelance kit, if you have one. I can't wait to try it out some more and get a better feeling of if I like it or not, because right now I can't really tell. Um, at least I can say it's not horrible. <laughs> so I did end up, even though I was only going to buy some essential stuff, I ended up buying um, some non-essential stuff as well. So I'm just going to show you everything I got. I got a few new dry shampoos, just because I, I have a new favorite dry shampoo these days. It used to be Batiste for the longest time, for years and years. And I still like that dry shampoo, but after trying this one, the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo, I really don't want to go back to anything else. This is the best dry shampoo I've ever tried. And it's expensive, but I heard so many good things about it on YouTube. So many people raving about this, and I thought I'd give it, give it a go, and it's, it's amazing. Like, amazing. I, I thought I might... I have a lot of um, dry shampoo favorites. Um, this being like my top one. But I also have other good recommendations as well. Um, so I might do a video on that. Like my top five favorite dry shampoos or something like that. But yeah, this is also a favorite of mine. It's the Camila Peel dry shampoo. She's a Norwegian influencer. So I'm not sure if this brand is available um, anywhere else but Norway. But these are really things that I want myself. But I ended up um, purchasing it for my kit. It's the Milani eyeshadow primer and the Milani Make It Last setting spray. So um, I probably will try these you know, to to get to know all the products I have in my kit, I really don't want to just put it in there and hope it'll work. Uh, I'd rather just give it a good go on my own and, and get, really get to know it so that I know how it performs. I accidentally got two of the same mascara. Um, I didn't mean to, but it's the Essence Hello Good Stuff Volume Mascara with carrying coconut oil. This was recommended um, by a friend and she said it was like the best mascara ever. Um, so I wanted to give it a go and um, I might put one in the kit and one in my actual makeup collection. Another mascara I got is the Pixie by Petra large lash mascara. I'm not going to open these because I like to have backups of mascaras and if I open all of them they're going to dry out before I get to them. But this was recommended by the, um, Wayne Goss 
Yes, and since it's cruelty free and I love pixie skincare, I thought I'd try this one. Then I got this. This was just really an impulsive buy. Um, where I kind of fell in love with <laughs> everything, like everything I saw, you know, the crystals. It's the essence, my power is fire. So you kind of choose this mist um, depending on what sign you are, which I'm a Leo, so. And then it is amethyst infused, hydrate and prime mist. So from what I understand, you're supposed to put this on before your makeup and um, it won't really work as a typical setting spray, just like a hydrating mist. And I just, um, I got so excited about this. I thought this seemed to be a really cool product and I didn't look at the ingredients until I got it. And it has alcohol and perfume and lots of really bad things in it and this is supposed to stay on your skin for the whole day so um, I'm gonna wait on this one um, while I try the foundation just in case I react to this one in any way I don't want to mix these two together and blame the foundation for a breakout or something like that so I'll try this for a while first and then I'll try this one for a while after. I also got two of these. Um, these are the Essence Super Last 24 Hour Eyebrow Pomade Pencil and it's waterproof in the color round. Um, are they both? Yeah, they're both in the color round. So I'm going to put one in the um, freelance kit and one in my makeup collection. And the reason why I bought this one, I'm really eager to try it the Catrice and Essence eyebrow pencils by the way because um, I liked a lot of the ones that I've tried already and they're very affordable and they're cruelty free and you know yeah they seem to be good eyebrow pencils but anyways this I wanted to buy because in the reviews on the website there was a comment from a makeup artist and she said she had the whole, all of the colors in her freelance kit because it was that good. That made me want to try it, basically. It has a very odd, like it's, it looks like this, so it's, it's rather thick. So I don't know if I'm going to like it because of that, because I, I do like the uh, pencil to be a little bit thinner and more precise, but who knows? And also... On the other side, usually where you get like, oh, there's a sharpener as well, but I'm talking about this part. I don't know if you can see this, but there's just like these plastic or rubber spikes. So it's not like an actual brow brush. Um, so I'm not sure how this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try it out and I'll let you guys know how I feel about it I was also missing a cool toned blush for my freelance kit and a few of my favorite people on YouTube um, Was really raving about this essence the blush blush and so I This is what it looks like so I got this shade This was also so affordable. If I if I like this blush, I'm gonna buy all of them. I think because it's they're, they were so nice. Um, I also got the Essence Micro Precise Eyebrow Pencil, waterproof in the color light brown. I'm trying to remember all of the ones I've already tried, but I don't think I've tried this one. And this is the kind of pencil. I usually go for really thin and precise I'm probably gonna use this up in like a week that's the problem with eyebrow pencils I, I, I really want to get into pomades this is how far it rolls up so I'm probably probably gonna use this one up in like a week or two 
Um, if you have anything, any eyebrow pomade to recommend that's cruelty free, uh, let me know. Um, because I, I think I want to get into that next. I did declutter the ColourPop um, eyeliner in Mr. Bing. And so now I don't have any brown eye pencils and I was kind of missing that. So I ended up, um, someone recommended an Essence eye pencil in one of my comment, one of my comments, but I couldn't find the one she recommended. I think it was called Essence something, but first coffee, something like that. I couldn't find it. So I got the Essence Kajal pencil eyeliner in Teddy. Um, and this looks fine. I'm sure it'll work just, just fine. <laughs> and I also got this, um, Essence Inner Eye Brightening Pen, soft texture. Uh, and the color name is Everybody's Shade. I thought I put this in my kit as well. This is a repurchase of the e.l.f. Brow Comb and Brush. I have um, one that's completely worn out and just destroyed. It's really come, come into pieces. So I thought I'd get a new one because I use th this one fairly often. And uh, it's really good. So I got one of those. And an impulse buy, um, really, I, I haven't heard anyone talk about this product anywhere, really, on YouTube, Instagram, nowhere, but what it said on the website, I'm going to see if I can find it again, was just enough for me to get it. It's the Essence Natural Tint Color and Care Lip Balm in the color, what's the color? I don't know what the color is. It doesn't say. But it looks like this. That's what it looks like. I've tried it I've tried it once and it was it felt really nice on the lips, almost like a hybrid of a lip gloss in the way it feels and a lip balm. And when it dried down, dried down, it, or like the lip care part of it was gone, I was just left with a really natural, nice tint on my lips. So, um, first impression, I really liked it. And, um, hold on. Okay, so I'm just going to read it to you. Um, and s just see if you're not intrigued. Here comes the ultra caring lip balm with that little extra pure volume plumping effect lip balm with menthol makes the lips fuller and refreshes them. The lip balm True Glow pH reacting with argan and jojoba oil reacts with the skin's own pH value and intensifies the lip's natural color. In the natural tint color and care lip balm, the caring effect of castor oil is combined with a fine and natural color. All products also contain shea butter that moisturizes the lips, but they do not contain microplastic particles or silicone. And that just made me buy it. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, and let's see if I can find the color name. It looks like there's one more, like, new, like a light pink color as well, but I can't find the name of the colors. But yeah, um, and then I just got a sample of the Shiseido Ult Ultimoon Power Infused Concentrate and the Brightening Gel Cream. And that was it. So I'm really happy about the haul. I don't feel like I went overboard. Um, I mostly got things that I um, either knew I was going to like that were affordable, cruelty free things that I, I just needed to try or needed for my kit or a repurchase or, you know, so I can, I can justify this haul. 
and um, yeah, let me know if you want a good thorough review of any of these products. I know I'm going to do it with the Prenatural Foundation. If you've tried it, leave a comment please and tell me how you feel about it and also tell me what your skin type is because mine is normal to dry and dehydrated at times and um, I'm kind of wondering how it works on more oily skin or on just normal or combined skin. So yeah, let me know if you've tried it or if you have any other recommendations for me. So hope you like this video and I'll see you next time. Bye!